Hello, gorgeous. My name is Dusty, and this is the Scorpio Priestess. Scorpio, I hope you're well, vibing high, living your best life. If you like my vibe, I would appreciate a subscribe. Um, everybody who has, thank you all so very much. Thank you for your kind words. Thank you. Um, it means the world to me. I have, um, my group is, is ready. So if you would like to join, it only has me as a member currently because uh, I have not got a chance to send the link out to anybody. So I am going to link it in the description of this video. Um, you'll find it there. If you've had a personal read with me, I, I am sending it out. If you've had a FaceTime, I'm sending them out via text message today. Um, if you've had a video read, they're going to be sent out email tomorrow. I also have um, my new website done. Uh, you can book directly now with me. Um, you can see what my schedule is. Um, so I think it's gonna be nice. Um, instead of having to message me, you can go and see when my availability is and book right there in my calendar. I'm so excited. I uh, did it all myself. So it's not the best. It still has some um, things that, you know, some things that might need um, changed or um, I'm just, I'm really nervous about it. I hope it goes well. Um, now my old website is going to be up here for another week or two just to try to transition everything over. So um, Scorpio, we have something exciting today. Um, when I was pulling um, you all card for your angel oracle and your heart path oracle, your message, um, both of them are the last card in the deck. And I, I, I had a download that um, your guide spirit is trying to, to tell you something. You are at the end of, a, of this season. You are about to start a new season in your life. Now, for some of you, maybe you are paying off bad karma. I've been smacked around many times with bad karma. Maybe you are paying off some karmic debt from a past life, or maybe it's just been a hard season. Whatever the case is, both of these cards are the last card in the deck. And then I... Um, read over this vision quest quickly well I really didn't get any further than the first couple sentences because it told me everything it made me so excited um so let's read this everything in our visual world is here to teach us something nothing appears accidentally and then I got excited because this is not accident this is not an accident um, this is a message to you that the end of a season is here. You are about to start a new season in your life. And this is so wonderful. Now, for some of you, maybe you've already begun a new season. But just know for those who feel like um, you're treading water, like you just can't bear much more, understand that it is about to be a brand new season in your life. And it's going to be a good one. Um, so... These private underwater creatures remind us to allow the ebb and flow of cycles in our life to be fun and instructive and to see through the murky depths of our hidden thoughts. There is much we do not know about ourselves. Swimming with these animals takes us on a journey into unconsciousness. There we find our spirituality as well as our hidden fears and our deepest desires. If you find yourself caught up in everyday dramas, know that there is something clouding your vision. We have layers and layers of past lives and ego constructions that keep us in illusion. Whenever you are ready, you can start clearing these layers of illusion and stop the looping, as I call it, by changing your thoughts. Never blame anyone or anyone else for the dramas that manifest in your life. No one is right and no one is wrong. When something feels out of balance, go, go within for direction. Listen to a quiet voice in your mind. It is only the truth. Know that you are a part of a larger soul group that has manifested here on earth to learn how to stop karma permanently. Be kind to yourself. And to those who have manifested with you, believe it or not, they are your best friends on the other side. You are a brave soul who has signed up for one of the toughest courses, our life. 
others have signed up with you because they love you so much and you love them. Never give up on them in negativity. When you believe, what you believe manifest and what you give out, you get back. Always speak with love in your voice. The only way out of a cycle of illusion, pain, and suffering is forgiveness and thinking from the heart chakra. Honor the pain and the suffering. Honor the dark side, your shadow. When you embrace your shadow, you become the a, you become whole and strong. Together, you and your shadow can fight off forces that keep you unbalanced. You are stronger than you think. You wouldn't be here in this dimension if you weren't a warrior. And the affirmation is, I am not alone. My dove, my higher self is always flying with me. So beautiful, beautiful one today, guys. Uh, karmic forgiveness and letting go and letting God. This is what this is. Letting go and letting God. Letting go and letting the universe direct you where you need to go. Forgiving, letting go of some past issues possibly it's not worth it score it's not worth it anymore let the shit go honey just let it go stay in the flow no, it, whatever is meant to be will be whatever um is is going to transpire it will there's all the only thing you can do is stay in your square and understand yourself and and be as kind as you possibly can to others i promise you that if you stay in that flow state life will become very easy for you now how is your person feeling wow guys like a fucking psychopath lack of empathy Anger issues. So this person that we're talking about today, um, I don't often see this psychopath card, okay? So um, this person we're talking about today could have anger issues. They could have um, many, many issues, but they're bothered about something. This person's never satisfied. They were never satisfied in your relationship, but they're burning for passion with you for you. Now, an extra one fell out, inconsistent, flaker. So this person is very aware, <coughs> excuse me, my uh, phlegm is just about gone, guys. I've been, I have been drinking cinnamon tea. Um, I have been doing some other things, but it is better today. So every day it's getting better. Um, so this person though, oh boy, they have some issues here, Scorpio. Let's get into it. They're bothered, but they're burning for passion they're burning with passion for you i don't they're watching bothered stalking but they're angry something could be going on in this person person's life that's making them angry what do we have a fantasy has flipped over here they're in some fantasy world um fantasizing about you a lot um, but they were inconsistent and they know it. This person never gave you what you deserved. Yeah, there's turbulence, argument, stress in this person's life. This person here is angry. There is an We have an angry, unhealed person on our hands. And a lot of the times anger come is because of, of, of unhealed wounds, is because of, of childhood issues, is because of, you know, I mean, I've been angry plenty many times in my life right so um I, and I, i've read some comments where i can tell some people are very angry and um it's all about um healing those wounds now um this person has unconditional love for you but they have some big issues they need to take care of here scorpio what is passion what is passion? I feel they're watching you, keeping an eye on you. Whatever they're seeing is making them angry. Yeah, you already know this. You have an inner knowing, but you make their heart sing. Um, Y'all could uh, communicate telepathically. I feel like you've tried to help this person before. I feel like you have tried to, to guide them into possibly doing counseling or the shadow work or something because this person is so angry all the time. I feel like maybe they were really... 
um, short with you. They would lose their temper with you or um, hang up on you a lot or do just, you know, dumb shit. Uh, um, and I feel like you tried to help this person. Well, now that you are doing you, whatever they are seeing, they are bothered. What is, is inconsistent spirit? This person could reach out possibly, but inconsistently, maybe you are not speaking on a consistent basis. Um, so I could be talking to or about a feminine energy here. Um, this person, though, um, let me tell you, um, they have been inconsistent. They're either a feminine being inconsistent or, of course, or um, they have been inconsistent towards a feminine energy here. There's mixed signals, blocked emotions, heart fog. fog. So this person here, there's a lot about the heart right we have three cards that has that actually says heart this person's heart chakra could be blocked there's a lot of issues going on with them yeah boy but they feel really really sexually attracted to you um there's something about their sexuality as well though maybe this person um is a little too free maybe they have community d maybe they have community v Maybe this is how they deal with their problems. There's something about intimacy, though. They're afraid to get close. They're afraid to um, really give their self to somebody, to open up. They're like this constantly with their heart. Um, and this is a problem. Maybe what the cards are saying here is they've got to get in this feminine energy. Maybe they're trying to. We have got to be in feminine energy to be able to. We got to have our masculine and feminine balanced out to be able to receive love properly this person possibly does not receive love properly what is never satisfied and bothered spirit why are they so bothered well you could have had a family with them you could have wanted a family with them um and then they're looking at you possibly you're establishing something maybe you just bought a home just moved just got a new place there's something a new job there's something they're bothered about your security about your um you being established maybe they're jealous maybe the whole time you've been together they've been envious um scorpio maybe you had a better job than them you know for sometimes especially for masculines um instead of like being proud of their girl they um they feel insecure that you make more money than them but uh here we go relentless pursuit the chaser they also could be bothered that you're not chasing them anymore. You could have maybe at the beginning you chased them and then you said, I'm out. I can't keep doing this. Maybe they want you to chase them or they're about to start chasing you. Um, this person here. Wow. So I do feel they need to get a grip on their self. Um, they could have psychopath, psychopathic tendencies where they really do not care about anybody but their self. They're angry. They're bitter. They're unhealed is what it is. They're very unhealed. How is Scorpio's person feeling, spirit? How do they feel? That love sucks. First of all, they feel like love is just painful i feel like in the past the only thing they ever experienced was pain with love right the only thing they experienced was maybe they had a very bad childhood maybe they were physically abused maybe they were mentally emotionally abused neglected they never really knew what it was like to love maybe the only time they were loved was when they were getting in trouble or you know it was painful along with it you know i mean it's sad. I, I feel sad for this person. I really do feel like crying. This is a very unhealed person. I felt it in the energy immediately when I started shuffling, you guys. Um, they have lost their self. They have lost their self is how they feel. This person has lost their self. They don't know um, if they're coming or going. All they know is, is they miss you. They're burning with passion for you. They're not taking care of their self. They're neglecting their self. They're not taking care of their spiritual, emotional, physical needs here. They've retreated because um, they were afraid to get hurt. 
So this person, one of the reasons why they backed off and treated you the way they did is because they um, are afraid to get hurt, right? But they also are missing this opportunity because they're playing hard to get. Like I said, this person wanted you to chase them. They wanted you to um, be relentless and, and um, continue the chase, continue with the games. They feel um, like... Like you should have done this. This person tells too much about, um, tells people too much too. This person talks too much. Constantly telling people shit. Constantly telling people about what's going on in your relationship. Like that's really, uh, that's not good. Because then everybody else puts in their, you know, their two cents. And then it's a problem. Then they have all of these um, uh, people's opinions that really do not matter, right? So tell me, we're going to just clarify some of these with tarot. What is tension, turbulence, and argument spirit? So this person here tells people a lot. They're not taking care of their self. They've lost their self in, in, uh, in something. It possibly could have been this, but I feel this person here has a lot of stress in their life. It could be family stress. It could be... Um, outside factors, right? I, I, there's something going on with them where they're quite stressed out. Yeah, they are burdened. Wow. They could be with a third party as well. So this person is burdened. They are um, a wounded warrior. There's illusion. And I feel we have a third party in the house. Now you could be dealing with a cancer or a Pisces or a fire sign. So what is the queen of wands spirit? I feel like this person here... <clears throat> Could have gotten, yeah, see, they're, they're, they're knight of wand ways. They're being a player. They're rushing in and out of your life and others ways has got them wrapped up in something, but it's death. It's about to be over. This person could be going through a breakup. This person could have endings all over in their life. Things are ending in this person's life. Maybe they are at the one at the one that's at the end of a season, right? Somebody between you and them are at the end of a season. Maybe you both are. I, I feel this person is ready for this shit to be over. They need to take better care of themselves, though. They really do. They're not taking they're not taking care of themselves and they they've got to they've lost themselves in something they talk too much um what is the moon this person here i feel um the the moon clarified by the devil so uh toxic behaviors toxic toxic behaviors here um an illusion there was some illusion painted painted around this person in their life some illusion painted with a third party possibly um i do feel this person here um is feeling real dumb there's something they did or thought was going to go one way that went a completely wrong way and they are just not in good shape so what are they going to do next? Well, first of all, they're going to be hiding something. They have an ulterior motive. They're going to hide something, okay? But we have resurfacing, reappearing after hiding. So this person's been straight dodging you. They've been hiding from you. They've been trying to not, they didn't want to have to see you or face you. I'm telling you they're embarrassed about something here. This person is embarrassed. They're going to come in and try to make a positive impact on you. They're going to try to act as if they've changed, like they've they've really changed things around, like there's no third parties anymore, like they're ready to settle down, like they want to build with you. Now, this person could want a family with you. We have this twice. We've seen established. We've seen family there. So they possibly could actually want to do that. But the thing is, is this person has to heal there are wounds that this person has not dealt with at all. They're still in devil energy. You could be dealing with a Capricorn or another Scorpio. What is what is this um, hiding something? Well, the other thing is, is that they they could be hiding from somebody else that they still love you, that they feel you have unconditional love, you have un, undestructible love here, that it's everlasting. I feel this person could be hiding that from a third party. What is resurfacing? They could be hiding that from a third party. Yeah, sneaky behavior though, and faded love. So this person feels like this is a deep connection. Um, they feel you're their soulmate. 
okay? There's something this person's hiding from a third party about you. Maybe they lie and say they don't love you anymore. Maybe they've lied and said they don't care about you, that you are just a one-up. Maybe they lie and say, you know, on and on and on. But this person's lying. They're lying to other people. And for a minute, they were lying to their self. This person here is about to play a disappearing act with this third party. Sneaky ass behavior, and they're going to reappear. So they're sneaking away from a third party. They want to. They want to sneak away from a third party to contact you, is what this looks like. Trying to make an impression. This person may come in and say that they've left the third party for good. Um, it, be careful about that, okay? Because I don't know if this person's quite left this third party yet. I do feel they want to. But yeah, illusions. They're in a fucking illusion. They do not. They're not seeing the truth. They're not seeing the truth behind that, what their problem is. I don't feel like this person knows what shadow work is. I don't feel like they, I feel they're a very 3D person that just lives. They don't even ask themselves why they do the things they do. They want to come in here though, make a positive impact and, and have a heart to heart conversation. This person wants to follow their heart. No longer hiding feelings is what this card is saying. They could come in though and want to paint you an illusion, make you feel like they are no longer with the third party. Now, again, I don't feel like they want to be with the third party, but I don't feel they've had the nerve to leave yet. So they could come back in and be a flaker, very inconsistent with you. What is building? This person, um, yeah, they're afraid it's too late. They're afraid you've made a decision and it's too late. You're done. They feel that you may start a family with somebody else or you may blend your family with somebody else. If you have children with this person, they are desperately afraid that y'all are going to, um, you're going to find somebody that's going to be a, you know, a, a father or a mother to their children, a second father or mother to their children. This person here, though, um, it's going to be last minute. They will tell the third party that they're working late or something like that when you if you hear from them. What they're going to do next is possibly reach out to you last minute, um, resurface last minute and want to have a secret meeting. I'm telling you, this person here wants to um, meet up with you regardless of whether they're with the third party or not. They don't care. They're going to tell you that they've left the third party or maybe they'll be honest with you. There's, I feel this sneaky behavior is, is behind this Queen of Wands, um, the third party's back. The third party could be a fire sign. What is this person going to do next, Spirit? What are they doing next? They want, they want a whole ass relationship with you, but they got to get out of this third party mess first. Text message, comment on in. So what they're going to do next, they're going to text you. And it's going to be last minute, possibly at night. It could be um, last minute, you know, I don't know. I just heard 8 p.m., 8, 9 p.m. at night, something like that. But here they come on in. Yeah, they're in a Knight of Wands energy. Um, they're in the devil in the Knight of Wands, guys. Probably the same energy you left them in. Here they come on in, though, as a player. Um, knowing your soulmates, there's this definitely your, your player soulmate coming on back in Scorpio. What is new, right? This person here, I don't feel is ever going, I don't feel they're going to give up until they see you, talk to you, get you like, it's, it's going to be very unexpected. I don't, I don't feel that you are going to have any clue that this is good. I feel you're going to be going about your business and your phone's going to go off and you're going to think it's, you know, I don't know, your friend, somebody, and you're going to be shocked, startled. Yeah. <sighs> Ten of swords. I didn't even ask a question. Ten of swords, though. This person betrayed you. They hurt you so bad. Spirits reminding you of how bad this person hurt you. Poor baby. This is a horrible energy to be in. I do feel that you were literally laid out on the floor like this many times because of this person, because of this pain. Um, it's been very slow. We have the Knight of Wands here. But, I mean, the Knight of Pentacles, but it's in reverse. This person is starting to get in. They're impatient. They are impatient. They want to come talk to you about this betrayal. They want to come talk to you about whatever happened here, about what's going on with the third party. Um, I feel this person... Uh, tell me what they're going to do next, Spirit. 
Tell me what they're going to do next. Bring you the truth is what they're going to do. This person here is bringing you the truth. They are um, juggling right now. Okay. So they're bringing you the truth. They're juggling. They want to know. They're trying to figure out what to do. They're back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But make sure you arm yourself when they come back in. Arm yourself. Keep your swords up when they come back in, okay? Because this person here is trying to be patient. They could be overindulging in something. Um, a new. They want a new cycle to begin. They want victory. They want. They want a new cycle to begin. Um, they look at you as single, abundant, living your life to the fullest here in the Nine of Pentacles. Like you are the star of the show. Don't that look like a Christmas tree? I love it. Um, the star of the show. You're shining bright. That's what they feel. They're bothered by this. They're bothered by something here. They're bothered by you doing well, possibly. You not chasing them, possibly. Bothered by a lot. This person. What will this person do next, Spirit? What's going to happen next? Apology. You can expect to hear the apology you won. You have learned the spiritual lesson. Congratulations. You have learned a lesson here. You've learned the spiritual lesson. Maybe there was something you weren't seeing about yourself that this person, you know, put you on to. Maybe they put you on to your path and you, um, you know, are, are going through an awakening because of them. There was some spiritual lesson that you were to learn in this relationship and you've learned it. You've mastered something. Um, radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go, spirit saying. Release release the need to know how things are going to end release the need to know um you know like if you want to take this person back just enjoy the present moment but make sure you're listening to what they're saying here okay make sure you are arming yourself um that you are aware that this person could be with a third party that they could they still have anger issues here they still feel love sucks they've lost themselves somewhere um they talk 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 tell people all sorts of stuff um just be aware of all of these things all right and you may possibly have to relearn a lesson if you repeat this cycle with them there may be another lesson in it that you need to learn you know, just be aware, just be very aware of it, but release the need to know how it's going to end. Release the need to know, I'm, or am I going to get married? Is this going to happen? Is that going to happen? And enjoy the present moment. Um, for some of you, it may be time to release this person all the way around to get all together. What do they want to say to Scorpio spirit? What do they want to say? I lied out of fear of rejection. I, this person here has pretended like they don't love you. This person here has pretended like they don't care. Look at this. This is what I said. This is what we've been saying here. This person here acts as if they don't care about you, tells the third party that don't care, talks, 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 tells people all sorts of stuff. So now it's really hard for them to come back in because it will be embarrassing for them. Um, they'll have to like eat their words now. Let's get through this together. I have a surprise for you. <laughs> yeah, they do. They ha they want to give you their wand. That's your surprise. <laughs> get your wand. Oh, what is it? Uh oh, Scorpio. Maybe you might get some, um, a good surprise. What does this person want to say to Scorpio? I can't get you off my mind. Yeah. They think about you. 24 7 this person's thought about you from the day it happened they've always thought about you i miss our friendship i miss you scorpio i miss being next to you i miss talking to you i miss laughing with you i miss our friendship i lied i told i told everybody i didn't care about you i told the third party i didn't care about you i told my friends and family i didn't care about you i lied i did this because i was in fear i didn't want to be hurt i don't know how you feel I want to make our, I want to, I want to take our relationship to the next level. I want to build with you. I'm in a family with you, but I'm still in player devil, devil energy. So be 
mindful of that. You mean the world to me. You do mean a lot to this person. I don't feel they've ever shown you. I don't feel that they've ever really even said that out loud, but you do mean a lot to this person. I wish you so much luck, guys. I really do. I, I really hope that this works out exactly how you want it to. Good, you know, whether you move on and meet somebody wonderful or you stay and this person gets their act together. I do wish you so much luck. Holy Spirit, what is coming for Scorpio? Sexuality. There's, see, there's something here too, and I'm just going to say it because we already had sexuality. Um, somebody here could be struggling with their sexuality. Somebody here could possibly um, like both boys and girls, and they could be keeping that from you, or maybe you do. If somebody here, um, you know, maybe if it's even only one person has somebody who is bi, and they don't want you to know that, they struggle with their sexuality. Um, some of you possibly struggle with being open sexually, or your person does. Somebody could be closed-minded here about their sexuality. Um, remember that you have such powerful sexual energy. Stand strong in it, um, Scorpio. Sex is not a bad, dirty thing. It can be a beautiful, beautiful thing. It can be, um, the exchange of energy is just, it can be beautiful. It can be powerful. It can be spiritual. If you're not out there throwing it around to everybody, you know what I mean? So, um, if you're struggling with your sexuality, um, that's okay. You're good. You're all right. Don't be ashamed of yourself. So, um, somebody here could be existing relationships could find a new passion and a heightened sexual attraction. Opportunities for marriage and good family life are strong. But if you are single, beware of temptation that could lead to trouble. A child will also bring you great joy. This person's going to tempt you. This person's going to tempt you. I'm telling you, you know what the surprise for you is? Is their wand. <laughs> or getting, they want to get your wand. They're going to seduce you. Something. This person could show up with nothing but a trench coat on or show up like, I don't know, crazy. Right? So that's the surprise. Again, last card in the deck. Number 44, discipline. The angels have noticed your heart longing to reach a new level of connection or higher consciousness. In order for you to hold this additional light, they are suggesting you direct your energy into goals that you have that have a deeper meaning. Pr prioritize how you spend your day and make sure to carve out time for intensifying your connection with spirit. Begin by taking proper care of your body, giving it proper nutrition and exercise. Get plenty of rest. Stay hydrated. You won't completely be able to um, connect deeply with spirit if you're unhealthy. Stimulate your mind with those things that enhance your connection to the universe. All above, tune into your inner light rather than being in crisis um, mode. Meditate daily with no expectations. This is time to relax and reconnect to the eternal wisdom. So guys, you're being guided to meditate, pray, really um, a lot a lot of closeness with the divine is, is available to you right now by praying, by being disciplined, by, by you know, getting up a little early, by staying up a half hour later, journal, um, you know, just really, really try to deepen your connection with the divine. Um, if you are looking to do that, meditation is a great way. Um, a beautiful way to do that. I hope everybody has a awesome day. Remember, all I do is win, baby. Love and light.